A. What kind of news was usually put up on the bulletin board? All bad news was usually put up on the bulletin board. B. What was the usual scene when school began every day? There was a great bustle when school began every day. C. Other than the students who were present in the class. Other than the students, the villagers were present in the class. D. Why did Mr. Hamel say it was the last French lesson? Government ordered to teach only German in the schools of Alsace and Lorraine. So, Mr. Hamel said it was the last French lesson. E. What was Franz asked to tell? Was he able to answer? Franz was asked to tell the rule for the participle. He was not able to answer. F. Why did Mr. Hamel blame himself? Mr. Hamel felt he was not sincere in his profession, so he blamed himself. G. What did M. Hamel say about the French language? M. Hamel said that French language was the most beautiful language in the world. H. How many years had M. Hamel been in the village? M. Hamel had been in the village for 40 years. One, why did France dread to go to school that day? France did not study the rule for participle, so he dreaded to go to school that day. Two, what were the various things that tempted France? to spend his day outdoors. The warm and bright day, the chirping of the birds and the drilling Prussian soldiers tempted France to spend his day outdoors. Three, why was the narrator not able to get to his desk without being seen. All his classmates were already in their places, so the narrator was not able to get to his desk without being seen. Four. What was France? Sorry for. Franz was sorry for not learning his lessons. Five. Why were the old villagers sitting in the last desk? The old villagers were sitting in the last desk.
because they felt sorry that they had not gone to school more. Six. What were the thoughts of the narrator's parents? His parents preferred to send him to work to earn money. Seven. Why does M. Hamel say? that we must guard our language. Mother tongue is the key to the enslaved people's prison. So he says that they must guard their language. Eight. M. Hamel was gazing at many things. What were they? M. Hamel was gazing at his garden, his class, the desks and benches, the walnut trees and the hop vine. Nine. When and how did M. Hamel Bid farewell to the class. M. Hamel bid farewell when the church clock struck twelve. He made a gesture to bid farewell to the class.